Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video response of Paint and Talk. Uh, this time is a first of all is a shout out to Eric Beer. He reached 7,000 subscribers and he's uh, doing a contest. Or I will say, um, yeah, um, what you call this? It's uh, giving a prize. It's doing a giveaway. So I will put the link to the video from Eric Beer in the comments below. And yeah, and you can go there and check and, and participate as well. So I think it's it's a great channel. Most likely, if you follow my channel, you also know Eric Beer. But just in case, uh, it's highly recommended. He's uh, doing a lot of 40k. It's did some small steps on on Echo Sigma, but it's mainly a 40k uh, channel. It's called Eric 40k, I think now. So it's really focused on 40k. Uh, and especially on the Xenos of 40k, he has a uh, Necron Army, Tyranids, Elder, Dark Elder, and now he will start Slanish. And he also has a small force of a Space Wolves, I think it's the only Imperial force that he has. He is now starting, or well, next year, he will start painting a Chaos Army. So, highly recommended, I really enjoy his videos, they are not too long, uh, he's very constant, putting a lot of information out there and a good variety of videos. So, yeah, you, can, uh, you will find the link to the channel in the description below. But also, he wants us to talk about where we purchase our hobby stuff. And I will say that I have no... Uh, today I have about three different sources of, of how to purchase. Uh, the first one is I go to the uh, Brussels Games Workshop store, although I did not went in the last recently because I was busy. But if I if I have the opportunity, I go there, especially for uh, daily supplies and to do some shopping from time to time. But the, the problem I always find, and, and I think this is a handicap for in Games Workshop stores, uh, is that they don't do offers and when they do this collection of points really the price is for me it's not appealing so they give you uh, just uh, some dices okay or some a t-shirt that then it's difficult to have your your size so uh, it, i think that they, sh they should create some type of of fidelity or, or uh, yeah or something type of that you collect points if they don't want to give direct discounts or something like that that is engaging the people to go to shop but anyway I, if I go to play there I, I like to shop because they, they facilitate the space to play so as, as a uh, um, yeah as a I will say as a yeah, as a compromise to go to the shop I, I like to, to to buy something out there but I also buy a lot by internet and the shop I'm using a lot by internet I'm quite happy how it works is uh, Element Games so I'm buying a lot on Element Games and I'm finding that buying in at UK today with the exchange of the Euro and how everything is going it's quite affordable and, and just here the main reason uh, if I buy to Element Games Normally, with the same cost that will cost me to do to buy one of the starter sets, I can buy the starter set and other stuff. Or I, I, I just you really save a lot of uh, money. You have to do quite if you want really to save, you have to go quite big in the order. So it makes no sense to go to just go there for a small orders like a paint or something like that. I would say less than 50 euros makes no sense if it's um, if you want to spend less than 50 euros. And just go to to your local store. I think it makes no sense to go to to uh, to Element Games. I'm talking about from Belgium at this moment, okay? Because when when then you have a good discount, but then you have to pay the, the transport and everything, and it's more or less if you are below 50 euros, it's not making sense. Up to uh, as of 50 euros, it starts making more sense to buy by internet. Uh, this is one of the sources I have. The other source, uh, yeah, sometimes there is things that are not available on Element Games because maybe it's a limited edition or maybe it's only uh, Edge Workshop online. 
So in that case, I also buy Games Workshop online uh, as well. For example, for my uh, magazine subscription, for the White Dwarf magazine subscription, I, I decide to go to to um, online because I, I want is just the, the comfort that you receive this at home and I don't need to go every month I, I don't feel obliged to go to the shop just for that okay uh, especially if I don't have time or for example and I am sure that I, I'm having the, the the magazine on time so because if you just um, waiting to go there sometimes when it's beginning of the month I cannot go and I just go there when it's end of the month and most most of the news on the magazine make no sense although it's still buying but this is why at the end I decided to go for a subscription and on top you have a, a nice discount. I think they should follow something similar. So in the, in, in the magazine, if you do the subscription, you have some discount. You, you get some, a couple of, I think it's a couple of um, white dwarf for, uh, for free. Uh, or you pay the cost of 10 white dwarf for a year of subscription, if I'm not wrong, something like that. So they should do a similar type of... Uh, deals on the shops when you go to do buy big bunches of things so give you points and then you can exchange the points for something that is more interesting than what they normally do uh, because if not it's difficult I, I guess it's difficult for them to compete with element games and all these type of shops that they can give these nice discounts and make the the yeah the offers more appealing to the people so this is uh, the other point and and no yeah um, really I'm thinking also to contact uh, War Games. The, I think uh, McNeil had a very uh, interesting project to start against uh, uh, War Games store, or I would say game, a game store, because they, he's also selling cars and all, all type of stuff. I'm not really, uh, it's a pity that it's so far, I cannot go in person to that because it looks quite an amazing store. But I was, I, I, I yeah, maybe I, I will shift in the future, I don't know. It uh, all depends how, how worse to ship or how it is for them to ship to uh, to Belgium. Because it's not the same shipping in, in, in national from UK to UK than shipping from UK to Belgium. Uh, most of the times you find that some shops have more problems or they give more expensive transport uh, options. So this is where I buy. So normally it's, I would say, three sources, Element Games, uh, local Games Workshop store and online Games store, um, Games Workshop, sorry. Uh, other options that I use sometimes is eBay, uh, when I'm looking for something all, or from time to time I like, I stop a lot to go to eBay because I, uh, I have a lot of miniatures, but from time to time, I like to go to eBay and see what is going on out there, so to see if there is, because sometimes you find nice offers. Uh, when I want to buy beads, I go to eBay or yeah, normally eBay and try to look for beads in UK because buying beads in US is not affordable. And this is a problem because normally you go to eBay and you see all these type of um, beads that are coming from US and they are really... Uh, interesting but then if you get blocked in the customs you have to pay a lot it happened to me once and so this is stopping me to buy anything from US now by eBay and it is stopping me to buy things in US because if uh, yeah if they put value on, on what they are shipping to you or the, then you have to pay customs and just to do the paperwork of customs it's more than 20 euros so make no sense you pay so much and for sometimes last time I, I ordered some bits I paid more for the paperwork than for the bits itself so I decided that okay uh, uh, it happened me once will not happen twice I will look for shops uh, that are in the EU let's see with Brexit how all this will change because this can change also in, in Brexit depending on the deal that you UK will have if Brexit is happening, also will depend on what is the deal that UK will have with the EU because depending on the, uh, if they start putting taxes on the customs and so on, it's going to be less appealing than to buy in, uh, at UK, what is a pity because the UK market is much bigger and there is much more opportunities normally than what I used to find in in Europe. Although I find from time to time uh, some shops 
in eBay that are from Germany that they also have good deals uh, uh, if they put yeah the, the only advantage is that they have to put the, the things in English and sometimes the, the, the information is in German so but yeah this is uh, I, I, I'm not just focus in one type of um, in, in one place to, sh to buy my stuff I like to it depends on the type of stuff I like to keep looking at uh, different shops I like to keep an eye on the market in, in general and if new opportunities are appearing I, I'm not uh, yeah I, I, I will check them so this this is how I purchase my stuff uh, I try to balance to support the local store and also to support my wallet so I think uh, I try to arrive to a balance between these two things because yeah it's good to support your local store um, but it's also important to take care of the wallet so this is yeah it is uh, my way to operate uh, of course I don't like to buy recasts or to buy any strange things knowing that they are recasts so if I find something suspicious of recast I prefer not to buy it uh, it's been for a long time that I don't buy anything from Forge World I think I have enough with the plastic to, to go to paint and no need to go to Forge World so far uh, I used to buy some books in Forge World in the past and yeah and I think that's that's all what I wanted to talk here so now it's your turn so uh, where you buy your stuff and yeah maybe Edic Beer if you watch this video maybe you have to convince me to go to war games and maybe I can start I can change and start buying I don't know how easy it is for them or for him to for McNeil to to ship to Brussels maybe I should give a call and have a conversation with him once I want to do an order don't know no I don't have anything in mind to buy but maybe once I'm back from vacations if I need to buy something I, I can give a contact, uh, a phone call to him. Uh, that's all for this video. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you find this, uh, yeah, it's interesting for you. Uh, and yeah, I have to say that so far Element Games is working for me. Uh, they ship what, what I order, they ship fast, on time. Uh, they really ship very fast, for example, when I order the 8th edition. And the and the books they arrive yeah, not the same Saturday that were off but they arrive on Monday so what I think it's quite a good deal uh, I was not expecting to receive them the same Saturday to be fair but when I was ordering sometimes on on the Games Workshop online I was not receiving them at the launch date neither so that's all. Uh, try, I, I try to find, as I say, I try to find, find this balance between supporting the local store and also supporting my wallet. And yeah, from here it's all. Uh, leave the comments below, give a like if you have liked this video. And yeah, and please check Eric Via, Eric 40k channel. It's a great channel. I think you, if you like 40k, you will like this channel. And yeah, and I hope to see you more in my channel. That's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.